Welcome back to another episode with me, your host, Keely Turner, exploring Porta Plata in the Dominican Republic. In part one, we explored the tropical forest, learned about the margarita plant, saw beautiful monuments and views via a cable car. Now, we're going to learn more about the Dominican history and culture and how this country started. Eighteen thirteen, when we celebrated the first day that we celebrated the, the Independence Day, uh, eighteen forty-four, uh, February twenty-seven. This is the the whole community come to this place to celebrate the Independence Days. So by the uh, father of the country, Juan Pablo Duarte, Francisco de Rosario Sanchez, and Ramon Matias Mella, who was the three fathers of the country, they they making that, that Central Park for the first day they're going to celebrate the Independence Day at 1844. It's February 27, 1844, they celebrated the first time, the first day, Independence Day in this area. All the community, so the different the different city, so they come to Puerto Plata and celebrate the Independence Day. So the Independence Day yes. uh, from Spain. Okay. So this uh, house was the this first is the, president. Yes, that's the White House. So you know the, the, when the, the president uh, stayed there, and we, when the, uh, Christopher Colón bring for first time in the island, the queen from Spain, Isabel and Fernando, he stayed here in this house. The reason why you see the, the F and the J. See, now it's the main house. So by uh, 1839 to 1897, the first president from Dominica, this was this guy, Gregorio Luperón. Gregorio Luperón, and this, he was the first uh, president and the first government and the first main, and he was the first war of the, of the restoration too at that time, yes. But this is the, the, the father of the country, uh, Juan Pablo Duarte, Francisco de Rosario Sánchez, and Ramón Matías Mella, uh, 1813, uh, 1867, uh, 76. Okay, 76. cool. Wow, that's so fascinating uh, to learn the history of the Dominican Republic and, and their first president, where the first president lived, yes. was right behind yeah. us in this home. Wow, that's so fascinating. The White House, oh, cool. <laughs> Casablanca. The White House, but oh, Casablanca. To me, I call it the Yellow House. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Now it's the main house. What, how do you the say yellow in Spanish? Amarillo. Uh, amarillo. Amarillo. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Amarillo with blanco, blanco, blanco. white, blanco. Yeah, I'm blanco. <laughs> blanco, bl blanco, red, I'm, blanco. I'm red. Ro red, rojo. Rojo, rojo. rojo. That, that's my hair. This island is interesting because both the French and the Spanish settled the island. The Spanish took the big half and the French got the smaller half. This little island has been divided ever since its conception. It is unclear the exact year of which Puerto Plata was founded. But we do know that Christopher Columbus took a trip to the Dominican and he and his brother designed the city in 1496. It was made into a Spanish colony, hence why they speak Spanish here. And in Haiti, they speak French because the French took all of Haiti's resources, cut down all the mahogany wood, farmed the land to the bone, and took any resources they could and shipped it back to Paris. The island in the old days was a bit lawless with pirates running around. Down below us is the San Felipe Fortress. It was built to protect the island from those pesky pirates. Today it still stands strong watching over Puerto Plata on guard. <laughs> it's very famous. Oh, gracias. Uh, another one? Yeah. Woo! 
Puerto Plata has done massive work to invest in the tourism industry for their economy by building Tonto Bay in 2021. The new cruise terminal that I arrived on and creating these photo activation areas that are colorful to create this iconic look to attract influencers like Moth to a Flame. But I myself am more interested in the culture, the history, the people, the coffee, the chocolate, and spending money. When traveling to places like the Dominican Republic, it's always good to spend money at the local establishments to give their economy a boost, when so much of their economy relies on tourism. The Dominican is so affordable and you might just make someone stay when you smile while buying a fresh bag of coffee beans. It was one of the best iced coffees I've ever had. Starbucks, you're not doing it right. So San Felipe, San Felipe de Puerto Plata is the cathedral in May. Um, he, he, he made it in 1834 to 1852, so, but they made it in wood, cedro, uh, uh, you know, we have mahogany wood, so we have another uh, different kind of uh, pressure wood, you see, very pressure wood, but when he fight with the people from Spain, from uh, French, and from Portugal, so the, the, the restoration, so they put a fire, they burn the whole church, oh, so they destroy the church. Uh, you know, uh, 1934, so a lot of people from the different, different country, from United States, from different islands, from Puerto Rico, or, or from Spain, from uh, <clears throat> France, oh, right. they, come, they come to help. Uh, him, the, the dictator was at that time Rafael Leonida Trujillo, uh, 1934. He made exactly the same like that. So, so, so all the, the, the shade is made with cedro and mahogany wood wow. and still like that. I'm going to show you inside, please. Follow me. Just check out the mahogany Yes. Uh, the shade made with mahogany wood. That's very, very strong and still like that from 1934. Wow. And they were very, very strong. They paint a little bit and repair it because it's very, very, very old uh, church. Very beautiful. Cathedral, so. See that Jesus is made in mahogany wood. Oh, wow. Yes. Let me show you songs. Come. Yes. Hey, the tarro. This way. Yo también el tarro y la cruz. That's a big piece of amber. What's the name? Uh, uh, all of vegetation. It's a window to the past.
sit on the beach, remember that life is about memories you create with the ones you love. You'll never forget those memories, I promise. Dance through life together and just flow with it. Life isn't supposed to be so hard. Just flow like the waves do. Even if you don't live on an island, you can keep this little island in your heart. To be honest, I never thought I would go to the Dominican Republic. It wasn't on my bucket list. But you know what? I'm glad I did. The people stole my heart. The passion and the love they have for their island has warmed my soul, and I will never forget the time that I spent with them. Thank you to my tour guide. I will always remember that one day in the Dominican Republic. Adios, amigos.